you may have some of these lying around the Xbox 360 or the 360 Slim storage. The 360 could be long gone but you still have these lying around but you can still use them and if you open them up in with this particular one you'll need a T6 for the screws this one you don't really need anything you just can snap it open or you can just use an adapter and inside you'll find one of these a serial ATA hard drive plugging it into your Mac or plugging it into your Microsoft you won't immediately be able to use it but there is a way to reformat them and you can use them for storage we have one removed from the casing and we still have the other one in its slim casing now you can buy a serial ATA lead USB and you, all you need to do then is just connect it to the just like that and plug it into your Mac when you plug the USBs into the Mac what it'll do is it'll attempt to read it and then you'll get a message popping up on the screen you can see that it says initialize ignore or eject that's because it doesn't rec recognize the format of the Xbox so what we'll do then is we'll just go to the initialize click on that and what will come up next is the disk utility so we'll have a look there now it's showing the hard drive from the Mac itself and then it's showing the mass storage device which is the Xbox one we'll click on that and it doesn't recognize it it can't read it so what we need to do now is we need to erase it so we'll just go up to erase click on that and we can name it it also recommends the format is Mac OS extended which will be re-readable re in future by the Mac so we'll just click on erase now it may take a little bit of time so we click on just to say it's done we just go back to untitled and it's now saying that there is 499.76 gig capacity and the it's available 499.32 so there you have it. We can now use it for external storage for your Mac. And in our next video we'll have one you can do for Microsoft. So thanks for watching.